Hi everyone, today's Moravian is James chapter 2 verse 14 to 26 about the relationship between faith and works. Faith, the idea of what we believe to be true and work, the idea of what we outwork and do with all the instructions and commands and imperatives of the Bible. Faith and works. It's a dynamic, a relationship, a tension, dare I say, that has caused quite a bit of debate in the past. Indeed, Martin Luther, the great Protestant reformer, he called James's epistle, because of this, an epistle of straw. He did not like it because he felt that it overemphasized salvation through work rather than salvation through grace alone. And actually, when you read this passage, it seems like that there were people in James's community that were also in confusion. It seems like some of them were saying things like, well, you know, it's all about grace. It's all about faith. God has done it all. So um, I just need to rest in him. Um, I'm going to read the ruthless elimination of hurry and simplify my life and just uh, soak in God's presence. Don't ask anything of me. Uh, whereas others were saying, well, it's all about work. We've got to do stuff. Uh, those who were saying um, you've got to take what Jesus taught you and put it into practice and serve and give and feed the hungry and give water to the thirsty and visit those in prison. I'm alluding to the parable of the sheep and goats because that parable says that if you don't do those things, you'll be like the goats thrown into hell. You won't receive eternal life. Problem. Tension. And James is saying we need both, both working together hand in hand, that our works simply demonstrate and reveal our faith. The, they reveal the internal work of grace that we're experiencing. I call that a reflex. And I talk a lot about this reflex principle all the time. Rarely do I promote my book. I'm going to do it today. Um, I would really encourage you to read it. I've wrote extensively on faith and work together. You can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it from Frontline Church. Um, this is what I see in the passage. But put simply, if I poke you in the eye, you'll blink. Natural, automatic. You have the stimulus, the input, and then you have the outcome, the action. I call that a reflex. And I believe that is clearly what is happening in this passage. I think what James is saying that our works, our good deeds are like the reflex blink of the eye or the swing of the knee if it's tapped to one of those hammers. They show us, they show the world around us what is going on internally, our spiritual health, the impact of God's grace at work in our lives, our true faith. Uh, much like the doctor might use the reflex hammer to test the knee to see if a person's healthy or alive. They show something, our work shows something. Good deeds don't save us, good deeds show us that we are saved. We're, we're not saved by works, we're saved for works. And, and interestingly, James uses the language of sight throughout this passage, the Greek word harate, he says, consider, look, see, observe, something outwardly visible as an expression of an inward transformation, faith reflexing with work. So I'd really encourage you to do a little um, spiritual health check today, a little reflex test. What do your actions, deeds, your works, or lack of them, reveal about the grace and the faith that work within you inwardly? Is your reflex a bit dull? Or are you striving and straining to do things for God? Or are your good deeds a natural reflex out of the intimacy of living with Jesus? And, and actually, here's the point. If you look at your life, if you consider, if you see, as James says, and you see um, a, an absence of those sorts of deeds, the solution is not to get really busy doing stuff for God. The solution is to press in deeper to Jesus's grace into Jesus's presence to naturally allow faith to rise and reflex into good deeds once again. Uh, and that is exactly what we expect. Um, that's exactly what happens when we encounter the living Jesus each day. Have a wonderful day.